What's good? It's your girl, Yummy Bingham, and I'm chilling with my crew right here on Music Exclusives. That's Exclusives TV. Hey, welcome to Music Exclusives TV. I'm your host, Tabitha, and I am at Quad Studios with Yummy Bingham. Hey, girl. Hi, Tab. <laughs> okay, so first off, where have you been? I have been a mom. I've been writing. I've been dipping in and out of, you know, reality show ideas and doing my own little indie project. So that's pretty much where I've been. A little indie project. So tell me about this project. What is it? When will it be out? When can we get it? <laughs> well, I'm up in the air. I'm up in the air between two things. Whether I want it to be totally analog or totally digital. So with that whole retro 90s and late 80s sound coming back, I'm trying to decide do I want it to be so studio digitally driven or do I want a live band? So right now Yummy's up in the air with the direction of sound. Now I can only assume that you've been writing for this project. What is your inspiration? Oh man, life. Uh, I thought I'd never say this, the news. Hmm. I hate the news, but now it's like what everybody needs just to stay just a step ahead of the game. Because so much is going on, and a lot of it is not propaganda. A lot of it is actually happening. So I want to be inspired by what is actually going on. Give me an example of a story that you're talking about, because you seem passionate about a particular story. Well, for instance, we're here today. Right now we're recording a song for, you know, a benefit for Ebola. And... The song is pretty much like a Heal the World Part 2 kind of approach and it's just a necessarily a necessary concept that everybody needs to dig in. Everybody needs to tap on because they're hearing about it, but why not bring more awareness to it? There are so many other diseases and so many other cases going on in the world that has no light really shed upon. What would you say to someone who says, I only listen to music, I don't want to watch news, I don't need to know what's happening. Well, that's why songs need to be more informative. Hmm. You know, a lot of, you don't hear about making it ring on the news. You don't hear about what's the new Rari, this one is pushing to that one. You hear about life, health, death, you know, money, sickness, pain. You hear about all of this and this is what needs to be more in music so that people have another, another stream of information. So if you could tell people the direction to put music in, if you were the head, where would you have music go, today's music? I have it go straight to the kids, like straight to the, the street in a, in a certain type of way of saying, not in a hood approach, but in an educational way. The only way I know what kids are taking serious is by asking them. Because nowadays, kids are taking serious whatever you put in their face, not necessarily what they're creating in their mind. So you got to just work the imagination, entertain children more. There are like hardly any artists who come from being kid artists who aren't for kids. You know, so that is troubling for me. At least when I was younger, I had Brandy. I didn't have to worry about something explicit being ran across my ear and my father having to like hurry up and press the fast forward <laughs> button or skip the song, you know. And now by the time you're 21, you're a sex kitten. So, you know, I don't want to be a part of that crew. <laughs> That's interesting that you say because you've come from a musical background, mm -hmm. a family background, mm -hmm. and you've been an artist for some time. You know, you have full experience and you are one of the youngest yeah. recording executives. Really? I feel so old now. <laughs> but no, no, no. Like, um, no, but yeah. Let people know, like, what should they expect in the music business? What do you see is different from when you started to today's music? When I started, music, music was very image driven, as it's always been, but just at an all time high once the early 2000s came in. It was like, we want to see more than what we hear. And now it's like, people are coming back down, and I mean like A-list celebrities, they're coming back down to earth and wanting to be more normal or show like they're more pe like they're people actually right and now that we're getting back to that place it's like i feel like it's a safe haven for me to go back into because it's not so oh 
what color is her hair, what color is her skin, what is the latest shoes she has on now. It's like, oh, did you hear that record she sang about her mom and their, you know, horrible relationship? Did you hear what she sang about that dude that used to beat on her? Like, did you hear about the song when her friend got, you know, shipped off and he's out in war? You know, it's certain songs that have to do with real life. Like, it just, it's so necessary. Okay. Who are you listening to now? I listen to BJ the Chicago Kid. I listen to Elvarna. I'm still a Kendrick Lamar head. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he has me on some 2015 Black Power Hippie kind of flow, and I'm all for it. Um, who else? I still love Jay, so I'm, I'm gonna listen. Jay Z and Kanye. I've been listening to Kanye lately. Kanye's dope. He's just always ever changing, but I just love what part of him he still keeps the same. Hmm. So speaking of change, mm -hmm. clearly you are in an evolution. Can you tell? <laughs> you are in an evolution. So what is this change? I have cheeks, more cheeks now, <laughs> more assets. No, now. not I physical, musical now. change. No. Come on now. <laughs> that's what everybody's like it's yummy like I get the crazy two two and three times squint like yes this is yummy yes, she's I still can. here look I'm pinching she's real it's really me <laughs> <laughs> no um I've changed in the sense of not being afraid to talk now that was me I, I wanted to be the artist that hid behind my music I did not care for fame I still am on the you know on the edge about it but um, I care more more now because I understand that my gift is not my own and that my testimony is not my story. It's not my business, per se. It's to help somebody else and, you know, build and develop and grow. Like, that's, that's what's changed about Yummy. Yummy is going to preach more than she's just going to be, you know, perform. <laughs> Okay, well, now it's a pleasure to see you, but we want to make Thank sure you. that you don't disappear again. I know, But I in know. case you decide to go back into the bat cave of seclusion, <laughs> leave us with something inspirational, something personal that inspires you on a uh, daily. On a daily. On a daily. Mm. Whew, you just struck a nerve. Just lost somebody. And lately that's been going on like double double time. Like people have been dying, dropping left and right. Like I can't even explain. There was two weeks ago every day in that week I found about someone dying. I'm sorry. Even wow. today on the way here. So, and it's tragic. But um, for all we know, Donnie Hathaway, that has to do with leaving and someone, you know, mm -hmm. you never know if you're going to see them again. So. For all we know, we may never meet again before you go. moment sweet again we won't say good night until the last minute I'll hold out my hand, yeah, and my heart will be in it for all we know. Oh, oh, this may only be a dream. So love me, yeah, love me tonight, tomorrow was made for some, tomorrow made 
never come for all we know. Thank you. I hope that you take this message with you. This is Yummy Bingham. I'm Tabitha Williams. And thank you so much for watching Music Exclusives. See ya.